and welcome to day nine of our series Transformed Video Devotional. This morning verse is on 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Can I read it to you? It says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. We all have weaknesses as we are all human beings. Apostle Paul uses a great metaphor to remind us how fragile we are. We have this treasure that God has put on us, a treasure of the gospel like in jars of clay. That is in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 7. Like clay jars, we crack under pressure. We all go through pressure, but we, the, we all experience the brokenness and sometimes fail completely. Understandably so, God is still in charge of our life for as long as we believe. Unbelievably, there are benefits to this phrase of weaknesses. You know Apostle Paul's story. He had persistent, perplexing problem. He asked God three times to take away his pain. Yet God refused. Do you think God hated Paul? No. God doesn't hate anybody. God loves us all as his children. When Paul said to God, remove my pain away from me, God refused. But he said to him, my grace is all that you need. For my power is greatest when you are weak. In this phrase, you all need whatever you are going through, whatever pain you are bearing, you do not need anyone else, but you need the grace of God. As the Bible says, as the scripture says, the grace of God is sufficient enough for his power is greater when you are weak. So, here are the three promises to keep in mind about weaknesses. The first promise is God's power is present in your weakness. God's power. You know, the power of God is there, is in your weakness. When you are weak, do not for once think that God has left you. Do not repeatedly resist or resent your limitations. Paul became the church's greatest scholar. He was in mission, a missionary, a fighter. He went out to teach about the promises of God. He went out to go and spread the word about God and his sufficient grace. The second promise is God works through weaknesses to accomplish his task. Physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual weaknesses became part of God's providential plan for your life. Remember, God is still the same. He changes not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now we get into, finally, God allows limitation become blessing to disguise. Paul goes on to say, for when I am weak, for when I am weak, take that into, into cognizance. Paul says, for when I am weak, then I am strong. The less I have, the more I depend on him. 
That is from 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10. Paul might never have become a great commissioner of the gospel if he had been distracted by other things. His physical plan made him fully dependent on God. Paul was a steward. We all have to emulate what Paul has done in his time when he had an encounter with God. Your limitations are opportunities. Remember this. Your limitations are opportunities to fully trust in God. More to have greater dependence to him because God will never forsake you. If you have problems, when you run to him, not to the world, God will never leave you. The more insufficient you are, or let me put it this way, the more insufficient you feel, the more his grace becomes to your life. People of God, as I have shared, the grace of God that is sufficient for you, don't you want to take this moment during your spare time and invite God in your midst. Forget about all the problems that you have. Forget about all the challenges that you are facing. Focus on the promises of God. Focus on Him and see what He will do in your life. 